hi thank you for coming to hang out with me my name is paula so today on my vlog i'm going to be talking to you on how i fought depression i mean um we've had stories of people doing disastrous things as a result of depression and depression runs on a spectrum from mild to severe um since i didn't go to a doctor i didn't have like a clinical consultation i can't categorically tell you how severe my depression was but i knew that for months i was in a constant state of sadness and it just won't go away while some people uh, are able to pinpoint um, the reasons for the depression i couldn't not initially until later so today i'm going to be talking to you about what i did to fight depression away thankfully to god be the glory i am totally out of it i am done with depression i am done with being gloomy with being sad with being unhappy with being miserable i am happy i don't know how i was able to survive that phase for that long time without any medication and i'm not uh, saying that you should walk in my path no i am not doing that sometimes we live in denial but i know that I did accept the fact at one point that I needed to talk to someone and before but before I got to that point there were certain things that I did you know to ward up the depression and that's what I'm going to be talking to you about today so one of the things that I did was exercise I've always loved exercising and so for me to ward up depression running on the treadmill the yoga mat and Zumba became my happy place I was always happy when I was dancing Zumba. I was always happy when I was running on the treadmill and I was happy when I was exercising. And it has also been scientifically proven that exercising helps you release a feel good chemical called the endorphins and helps you uh, and also helps relieve depression. But it can be short lived, it's not sustainable. So I kept on exercising five times a week and this helped me pull through to a certain level another thing that i did was praying when you are depressed one of the last things you want to do is talk to god and i wasn't any different i didn't feel like praying i didn't feel like spending time with god i didn't feel like reading my bible or doing any of the things that i normally would do but on this certain day when i felt like the walls were closing in on me i knew that I needed help and I needed immediate relief and so I prayed it was a struggle for me to get down on my knees to pray but eventually I did and it helped me what that did for me was two things it gave me a clear perspective as to why I was depressed I understood the reason for my depression I it became clear what was behind my depression and I was able to pinpoint exactly why I was depressed that's one and I dare say that God showed me rather than being depressed the things that I should be thankful for and I started making a list of all the things that I should be thankful for thankful to have my children that God has blessed me with a husband that God has blessed me with thankful to have my friends to live in a good home you know and not to have financial problems I was I had things to be thankful for but the depression had blinded my eyes to these things and I thought I was the most miserable person on earth so that's what prayers did prayers helps me put things in perspective and also helps me uh, uncouple myself from the depression and I understood that the reason for the depression did not define me it was not who I was that's what prayers did so you can try praying another thing that I did to fight depression was to change my environment and this happened after my after I lost my brother-in-law and my brother they died one week within each other my brother-in-law happy-go-lucky gentleman lost his battle to cancer and he died one week later my own brother a 42 year old man father of four also died untimely i mean what could be worse than death from two people that are close family members 
it was so depressing it was gloomy i was despondent and i wanted to run away i just wanted to go somewhere away from the gloom away from the anxiety away from the depression away from the sadness i just wanted to get out and so we packed our bags and we went away we went somewhere and we lost ourselves in the sight and sound of the city of Hamburg we just you know did everything that we could do I forgot everything to tally I mean you can't totally forget everything but it was a huge distraction from the pain and that helped a great deal and when we came back I could tell that I wasn't the same person that left before that trip there was a difference there was a huge difference so maybe a change of environment can help leave that sad place leave that sad environment go get some fresh air try something new you never know what it could do to you okay so do not underestimate the power of music to fight depression i am speaking for my friends i stumbled across the song have it all by jesse mirrors and I listened to the lyrics of the song. It was so apt. That song is a mood lifter. It's a secular song. It's not even a religious or a Christian song, so to say. But the bits, the lyrics especially, lifted my mood in a powerful way. I'm going to read some of the lyrics to you. It's like a prayer. It says, may you have auspiciousness and causes of success. May you have the confidence to always do your best may you take no effort in your being generous sharing what you can nothing more nothing less may you know the meaning of the word happiness may you always lead from the beating in your chest may you be treated like an esteemed guest may you get to rest may you catch your breath and may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows and may the road less paved be the road that you follow yes to the hearts that you're gonna break yes to the lives that you're gonna change yes to the infinite possible ways to love you i want you to have it all this is awesome powerful words from jason Mirez. these words did amazing things to me and I played the song over and over and over again until I was able to memorize the song. Um, I can't play the song here for copyright reasons, but I would recommend that you go check out his song on YouTube and you would love it. Another thing that I did, the last but not the least, to help me fight that darkness called depression was to take on a new project. I mean, I'm a mom and a wife, but to be very honest, I've never really enjoyed cooking. I'm a good cook and can cook, but it hasn't been something that I do out of a lot of pleasure. But something happened. I just started developing interest in exotic uh, menus and dishes. And so I would go online, browse, and come up with um, recipes that are out of the ordinary and take my notes, go shopping, buy the ingredients and come back buy the ingredients and come back to cook and so I was making these exotic dishes that my family enjoyed so dinner time was always something for everyone to look up to soon cooking became a family affair everyone husband kids would pop into the kitchen to help out and it bonded us together and we're always very happy look at me going from someone who didn't like cooking to someone who began enjoying to cook and they were not just regular dishes and I started putting my menus together and so today I have been able to put together several menus especially for children and I was sharing these menus and this menus with you in my subsequent videos if sharing my experience with you has reached out to you in any positive way I need you to do three things for me look down below and click on the like button share button and subscribe button till we meet again take care and God bless Bye.